family, friends, and the Andrew Jackson High School community. They gathered today for the second annual Taylor Charles Burt Walkathon. 16-year-old Taylor Burt died in August of 2021 after a battle with osteosarcoma, an aggressive bone cancer. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding shows us how every dollar raised at the Walkathon today will go toward helping other students fulfill their dreams. <laughs> They walked in memory, but they also walked for hope. In honor of Talon Burt, a young man who meant so much to so many. It's overwhelming. It's just the idea that my baby name and legacy still goes on and how many people just come out to support him. When I started to walk upon off this morning, I, I, his nickname was Big T. So I say Big T. So that's when we started off. Burt dreamed of going to college and becoming a mechanical engineer. But tragically, he never got to see that dream through. <laughs> the money raised at Saturday's Walkathon will provide other students with four year scholarships. Lining the fence here are banners showing Talon's journey from his diagnosis to chemotherapy. Despite what he was going through, he pushed forward, making good grades. His parents hope to inspire people for decades to come. With all that, that seven hour surgery, physical therapy twice, twice a week, he never complained. So to us, we, we're we trying to give back to him because he inspired us and inspired all these people that you see. Talon's parents say the first scholarship will be announced May 25th. With the first scholarship going out, it's just truly amazing how God has truly blessed us and brought us so far. But the blessings aren't over. Talon's parents say a few days later, their son will receive his own honorary diploma from Andrew Jackson High School. We didn't get to see him walk across the stage, but he will be there. Walking to help others fulfill their dreams in honor of Talon Burt, a young man forever missed. In Jacksonville, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. If you would like to make a donation, we've posted a link under the story on our website, newsforjax.com.